This video is brought to you by Skillshare. The first 500 people to sign up with the link in the description will get a two-month free trial. Greetings and welcome to Earthling Cinema. I am your host, Garrix Wormuloid. This week's artifact is The Exorcist, starring the lady who was in like 10 minutes of Requiem for a Dream, and the guy who was in like 10 seconds of Star Wars Episode 7: The Force Wakes Up. The film follows female human Chris, who has a male name, and her female daughter Reagan, who has a Republican name. Chris is an actress, even though that has basically nothing to do with the plot of the movie. Her daughter Reagan plays a game of spooky Monopoly, which I guess is the inciting incident, but the film isn't exactly clear on that. She starts acting like a millennial, being irritable. I don't feel anything. Saying swear words. You bastard! And pissing all over everything she sees. Chris shuttles in thousands of doctors to test Reagan, which she can afford because she's a famous actress. But the doctors can't find anything physically wrong with her, other than her inability to transverse beyond the third dimension, an affliction that was common in the Milky Way galaxy before we developed a vaccine. One night, Reagan takes it too far when she does the whole don't tell mom the babysitter's dead routine. The deceased was killed and then pushed from your daughter's window. So Chris decides it's time to give up on modern medicine and start having a little fun with it. She goes on a romantic stroll with Father Karras, a cross-dressing mystic, to see if he can do that thing from the title. Forget about exorcism. He isn't sure if Reagan is really possessed by a demon, so he asks her, and she says, <laughs> After that, all he has to do is procrastinate for a little while longer, and then, like a crunch wrap supreme, he's good to go. Unfortunately, the bureaucrats at corporate determine Karras is too much of a sexy hothead to perform the ceremony by himself, so they fly in a ringer named Merrin and bump Karras down to first alternate. The two priests start vigorously exercising Reagan, who luckily has been content to just sit in her bedroom the whole time instead of making any attempt to leave or cause havoc or do anything at all. Demon Reagan responds by giving Karras a gentle razzing, which causes him to get the vapors. You're not my mother! So Merrin kicks him out so he can go it alone, Maverick style. But the real Maverick thing to do is die immediately, which brings Karras back to Times Square One. All out of ideas, he asks the demon to possess him instead. God damn you, take me! And the demon is so damn agreeable, it just does it with no hesitation. Then Karras jumps out the window to his death. Seems like he could just float away and find someone else. I don't really know how demons work. The Exorcist is a contemplation on religion's place in the 20th century of Earth's existence. The film was released during a time when religious obedience was on the decline, and the 1970s sexual revolution was on an incline, since that provides more torque. In the opening of the film, we meet Father Merrin uncovering doodads on an ancient burial site, signifying that spiritual beliefs have been buried in favor of modern fidget spinners. Chris and Reagan are products of their time, ignoring religion even though it circles around them like an annoyingly persistent hula hoop. Do you have any religious beliefs? No. What about your daughter? No. Why? Chris casually takes the Lord's son's name in vain. He doesn't even call his daughter on her birthday, for Christ's sake. Maybe just being calm, goddammit! And besides football, obviously, the only significance of Sunday is that she doesn't have to work. What are we going to do on your birthday? <laughs> Isn't it nice it's on Sunday this year? Mm, no work. Thus, when Reagan's problems start to manifest, everybody looks to secular explanations, such as her absentee father. You mentioned her father and the separation. What is her father? In Europe and scientific causes, like CTE. The film explores the area between science and religion, also known as homeroom. Father Karras, whose religious training was overlaid by years of med school in Boston, well, near Boston, initially considers the idea of exorcism to be antiquated. It just doesn't happen anymore, Miss McMahon. Oh, yes, since when? Well, since we learned about mental illness, paranoia, schizophrenia, all those things they taught me at Harvard. His experience with his mother's dementia predisposes him towards psychiatric explanations for Reagan's tomfoolery. What's that? Holy water. Furthermore, the demon pretends to be hurt by tap water. It burns! It's tap water. Which reinforces Karras's doubts about the demonic properties of fluoride. In contrast to Karras, the devout Father Merrin acts with the conviction of a racist grandpa set in his ways. When Karras starts to explain Reagan's case, Merrin stops him because of his extensive experience with Highlanders. I think it might be helpful if I gave you some background on the different personalities Reagan has manifested. 
So far, I'd say there seem to be three. She's convinced that there's only one. Harris ultimately accepts the true nature of Reagan's possession. The message being that religion maintains its relevance in the modern world, since both religion and the modern world are equally absurd. The power of Christ compels you! Through Karras' journey, the film explores the reason for evil's existence, an area of study called theodicy. The film specifically espouses the Irenaean model, not to be confused with the Iranian model or the Trainian model. Saint Irenaeus believed that to achieve moral perfection, a human must suffer evil and possess the free will to choose goodness instead, even though it's boring. Under this explanation, Reagan's possession doesn't indicate the absence of God, but rather serves as a test of faith to those around her, especially that babysitter she killed. Father Karras is alienated from God because of his mother's condition and his burdens as a psychiatrist. I think I've lost my faith, Tom. And the demon attacks these pressure points. Your mother sucks and hell. Like a Swedish masseuse. You killed your mother! Your servant. You left her alone! Reagan, to die. Reagan. Shut up! In the end, Karras confronts his evil head-on by performing a Christ-like sacrifice, thus demonstrating his reunification with God. Similarly, when Reagan kisses a priest after she is cured, the film suggests that the ordeal may bring her to faith as well. It also suggests she is in for a lifetime of barking up the wrong dick. For Earthling Cinema, I'm Garrix Wormuloid. The power of space compels you. Hey Wisecrack, Garrix's intern Jared here. You guys often ask us what sort of applications we use to make our videos and how we learn to use them. Like a lot of YouTubers, a bunch of us here at Wisecrack are self-taught. Luckily, these days, you can learn just about anything online. If you ever wanted to jump into a project or learn a new skill, but weren't sure where or how to begin, Skillshare can help get you started. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 17,000 professional and easy to understand classes in design, photography, business, and more. Whether you're already a creator or you're looking to become one, you'll find like-minded people with steps and advice on how to take your ideas to the next level. You can take classes on everything, from how to light for portrait photography, to the basics of 3D printing, to how to make fresh pasta. And if you've got a skill that you'd like to share with the community, you can teach a class as well. A premium membership starts at just 10 bucks a month to get you unlimited access to the full range of courses. But the first 500 people to click the link in the description will receive two month free trial to Skillshare and all of its resources. So head over to skl.sh slash earthling2 to begin your two month free trial and get learning. You can download their mobile app and take classes no matter where you are. We can't wait to see what y'all create. And if you never want to miss something that we create, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch y'all next time. Peace.